Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here once again with our Dell 3880, which at the time of purchase was the cheapest brand new Dell I could buy for 2021. The whole plan for this thing is to take all the stuff that came in it and upgrade it all. As such, there is a playlist for this thing, which I will link right up there, as well as down in the description for you. You can go get all caught up on all the happenings. Today's video is kind of a hybrid issue though. I also have a series of videos called Ask Max where you can just ask me stuff and if it's something I think I can help you with and will help other people, I will try and make a video for you. So we've got a Dell 3880 Ask Max. I've gotten this one a couple times and now that I've got the answer for it, I understand why. It's a bit of a trap for old school guys, kind of like me. But today's question involves the boot order. In other words, if you want it to boot off a USB or the optical drive first or a hard drive inside it or, you know, an SD card or whatever you want, how do you change the boot order of those events to get one thing to happen rather than the other so you can make it do what you want? The short answer to this is make sure all the stuff's plugged in before you turn it on. That's pretty much all there is to it. We'll dive into it a little more and I'll take you through it step by step, but that's really all there is to it is make sure you put all the stuff in it before you power it up. Another small issue mine has is if I connect mine via HDMI, the uh, BIOS screen is truncated on the sides. I don't know why it does that. If I connect it via VGA, it's all fine, but you may also have that issue with yours. So be advised if that's what's going on, you'll need to connect it VGA if you want to see the full screen. And I'll screen capture the problem and walk you through it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is from the power button forward, start hammering on the F12 key on your keyboard. And I've tried a few times to get mine to show that defect between VGA and HDMI. And it must just be an issue with my system because I can't figure out how to make it repeatable. So don't worry about that. But if you do end up with like a truncated uh, list of things here where you can't see, what it does is it basically puts it into like 4.3 resolution. I would suggest just unplugging your monitors. Just plug one in if you're running dual screens, which I am, and turn it back on and see if it fixes it. Anyhow, this is what your BIOS screen will look like. This is what you get after you hit F12. So it's going to show you your boot options over here. So that's my SSD that's in it. We come down here to BIOS setup, boot sequence. And this is what's screwing people up. And me being kind of an old school guy, this screwed me up a little bit too. You know, back in the day, you would expect to see things like your optical drive, USB, uh, even disk drives, things like that in here. And you would, you know, click them on or off or move them up and down the list. And you don't see any of that stuff. If we go to add an option, it brings up this cryptic dialogue that I don't know anything about. So I'm not going to worry about that. But the short answer here is that none of this works too terribly well. And you can come down to the secure boot options and turn them on and off. Truthfully, I don't really know what that stuff does either, but I don't think it's really going to make any difference to us. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to back all the way out of this thing and power it down and get it ready for another boot up. And I'll show you the right way to do this. So here I have two items of bootable media. I've got this physical environment boot disk that I just made for the purpose of this video. And I've got this Windows 10 system restore uh, boot USB stick. And we're gonna power this guy down and restart it. And then you'll see those in the boot options. So power up, start hammering on off 12. Preparing one time boot menu, that's what we wanna see. And it's taking it quite a bit of extra time now because I can hear the optical drive reading. And now you're gonna see we have these other options in here. The SanDisk is my USB stick and HLDTST is my optical drive that has that uh, physical environment disk in it. If we come down to BIOS setup now, boot sequence, now we can turn those things on and off and move them up and down. Dell doesn't allow you to assign a priority to USB or optical until apparently you already have them physically connected to the computer and otherwise they're just not even here to pick from. So it's a, like I said, it's a bit of a trap for old school people like me where we're expecting to see all the stuff all the time and they're making it easier on us by simplifying the options. But at the same time, it's hard for, it's hard to change our ways when we don't know what to expect. But I'm just going to exit out of this and get back into the menu and we'll just boot it off that uh, Windows 10 stick just for fun. So we'll select SanDisk. And that is our Windows 10 media booted up and ready to rock. So if we want to do a fresh reinstall of Windows 10 or a, a session restore or a system repair or anything like that, we could do that. Right now I don't want to do any of that, so we're just going to back on out. So now I'm just going to let it boot up normally and not hit any buttons. And you can see she's happy. And there you have it. Dell created a trap for us by making this easier to use. All you really need to do is put whatever media in it you want to boot from, power it on, start hammering on F12, and then just pick it out of the list and go. 
If you're still having trouble out there, drop a comment and we'll see if we can get it taken care of. As always guys, I appreciate you stopping in for this video. We'll catch you on the next one. I'm Max, that's Saddington Bear, and we make videos like this all the time. Here are a couple links to some other videos we've made, and we really appreciate you guys stopping in.